What's up, YouTubers? Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Figured it was time to have a chat. I haven't been here in three months. I thought maybe I could at least talk to you, sit down in an actual chair and talk to you guys about where I've been and what I've been doing and why I left YouTube for a while. It's pretty simple, to be honest. When COVID took place and when quarantine happened, I had to make a decision. Do I go out and try to take advantage of this situation and get as many new students as possible? You know, I've been doing online lessons and streaming lessons for over a decade now. So it would be really easy to go to everywhere, spend a ton of money on Google ads, spend a ton of money on Facebook ads and be like, hey, are you stuck at home? Well, come on over here to mikeslessons.com. Hi, Juno. You can come up. Hey. Oh, God, right in the mouth. Yeah. Oh, I love you, too. Hey, I got to talk. Unless you want to explain where I've been. Well, I've been taking care of her. I've been doing that. Hi. Okay. It's not, it's not time yet. No, you have, you have 26 minutes until your bone. So anyways, I had to make the decision between do I push to get as many students as possible while I know everyone's stuck at home, or instead, do I go inward and put all of my effort into the people that have been supporting me and have been paying me for years and years? And that's what I chose to do. So instead of doing more social media and doing more things publicly, I just put everything I had into the Mike'sLessons.com family. So we went from one live stream on Saturdays per week to seven days in a row of live streaming and then figured out all these new ways to take advantage of the live streaming. And so that's kind of why I haven't, I just haven't had the time. But now things are starting to find a new normal and I do have the time. And when I think about social media and I think about Instagram, what do I get from posting on Instagram? it doesn't really fulfill me in any way. It's almost like just a cool kid club where you have to keep up with it. It's more of a pressure than anything else. Mikeslessons.com, that fills my soul with joy. Teaching people and knowing that they're actually getting better at the instrument, that is awesome. And then I think about YouTube and I actually get excited to make content for YouTube. I get excited, but I, I realize that I, I fell into this weird rut and this is what I wanted to talk to you about because you might identify with it as well. What happened is, you know, I did YouTube videos from 2005, like right when YouTube launched and just moving forward, moving forward and, and Google acquired them and then there were AdSense and AdWords and all that and I went through all that stuff and everything was fine. I was just making YouTube lessons. And then we, as a community of musicians, decided to get more serious about our video production. Well, that's when you usually find the Canadian crew of Jesse Driftwood and Matty Hapoya and Peter McKinnon and Levi Allen and every other freaking Canadian that's so good at making videos. And that almost stops you in your tracks because you think, can I upload a video to YouTube if it's not this cinematic masterpiece? And I think that that is what paralyzes a lot of us from making content. But luckily in the last couple months, I've found some YouTubers that are associated with other hobbies that I have that just have very normal content, but they are so engaging and the material inside that content the way that they're delivering that material and the subject matter itself is so compelling that I watch it and eat it up like candy. And I think that that's what I needed to just release the pressure of you have to make the greatest video in the history of the world to even upload to YouTube. So just know that in the next couple days you will start seeing a lot more video content and I also want to expand that content. I don't want it to just be these quick bite-sized lessons. I want to talk to you guys about my favorite drums. I want to talk to you about the cameras I use to make these videos. Hell, I've got one, two, three, Four. I think I've got four separate lights going right now just to make it look like, oh, it's no big deal. I'm just hanging out in my studio. But it took a long time to set this up and I wanna talk to you guys about that. How can you make better videos? How can you make your drums sound better with just two mics the way that I use them? I wanna get more in depth with everything that I do and share that with you guys. So just thought we should have that quick talk. I know that this video will get about 11 views, but hopefully the 11 of you that do watch this, this means something to you and you know that I truly care about you guys. See you in the next video.